Jeti Su or Semirechai, Kazakh, Jetazi, Zetishu pronounced, JTS meaning, Seven Rivers. Also transcribed Jetisu, 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 Zetisu, Jetisu, etc., and Yedisu in Turkish, Hftab Haftab in Persian is a historical name of a part of Central Asia, corresponding to the southeastern part of modern Kazakhstan. It owes its name, meaning, seven rivers, literally, seven waters in Kazakh and Persian, to the rivers which flow from the southeast into Lake Balkhash. When the region was incorporated into the Russian Empire in the 19th century, it became known in Russian and, to an extent, in European languages as Semirechai Russian, Semiresh which is a Russian calque of the Kazakh Jetisu". The name has also been transcribed as Semirechai, Semireche, Semirechie, Semireki, Semirechensk or Semiresh. Jetisu falls into today's Almaty region, which is part of Kazakhstan. However, the Semirechai Oblast, as an administrative unit of the Russian Empire, included not only Jetisu proper but also lands that now constitute parts of northern Kyrgyzstan and adjacent provinces of Kazakhstan as well. Geography <laughs> 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 The lands of the 19th century Semirechai Oblast included the steppes south of Lake Balkhash and parts of the Tian Shan Mountains around Lake Isik Kul. The province had an area of 147,300 square kilometers, and was bounded by the province of Semipalatinsk on the north, by China Xinjiang on the east and south, and by the former Russian provinces of Fergana, Sir Daya, and Akmolinsk on the west. The Zungarian Alatau Mountains, which separated it from the Chinese region of Kulja, extend southwest towards the river Ili, with an average height of 2,700 meters (9,000 feet) above the sea. Several isolated snow-clad peaks reaching 3,400 to 4,300 meters (11,000 to 14,000 feet). In the south, the region embraces the intricate systems of the Ayla Tau and the Tian Shan. Two ranges of the former, the Trans Ili Ayla Tau and the Tursky Ayla Tau, stretch along the north shore of Lake Isik Kul, both ranging from 3,000 to 4,600 meters (10,000 to 15,000 feet) and both partially snow-clad. South of the lake, two ranges of the Tian Shan, separated by the valley of the Naran, stretch in the same direction, lifting up their icy peaks to 1,800 and 2,400 meters (6,000 feet), while westwards from the lake, the precipitous slopes of the Alexander Chain, 2,700 to 3,000 meters (9,000 to 10,000 feet) high, with peaks rising 900 to 1. 1,200 meters (3,000 to 4,000 feet) higher extend into the former province of Sir Daya, containing the southern Kazakh cities of Chimkent, Orlie Arta, and Turkestan. Another mountain complex of much lower elevation runs northwestwards from the Trans Ila Tau towards the southern extremity of Lake Balkhash. In the north, where the province bordered Semipalatinsk, it included the western parts of the Tarbagatai Range, the summits of which 3, meters or 10, feet, do not reach the limit of perpetual snow. The remainder of the province consisted of a fertile steppe in the northeast Sergiopol, and vast uninhabitable sand steppes on the south of Lake Balkhash. Southwards from these at the foot of the mountains and at the entrance to the valleys, there are rich areas of fertile land. <inaudible> climate The climate in Jetisu is thoroughly continental. In the Balkhash steppes the winter is very cold. 
The lake freezes every year, with temperatures falling to minus 11 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit. In the Ayla Kul steps the winds blow away the snow. The passage from winter to spring is very abrupt, and the steps are rapidly clothed with vegetation, which, however, is soon scorched by the sun. Average temperatures at Almaty 733 meters, 2405 feet high are for the year 8 degrees Celsius, 46 degrees Fahrenheit, for January -8 degrees Celsius, 17 degrees Fahrenheit, for July 23 degrees Celsius, 74 degrees Fahrenheit. At Chevalske, 1,660 meters, 5,450 feet, for the year 2.5 degrees Celsius, 36.5 degrees Fahrenheit, for January minus 5 degrees Celsius, 23 degrees Fahrenheit, for July 17 degrees Celsius, 63 degrees Fahrenheit, still higher in the mountains at Naran, 2,100 meters, 6,000 900 feet, the average temperature for the year is only 6.5 degrees Celsius, 43.7 degrees Fahrenheit, for January minus 17 degrees Celsius, 1.4 degrees Fahrenheit, for July 18 degrees Celsius, 64.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Topic: <inaudible> Bodies of water. The most important river is the Ili, which enters Zhetisu from the Tian Shan Mountains of China's Ili Kazakh Autonomous Prefecture in northern Xinjiang, and drains it for 250 km before it enters Lake Balkhash. The Chu River also rises in the Tian Shan Mountains and flows northwestwards through the former Akmolinsk province of the Governor Generalship of the Steppes. The Naran River flows southwestwards along a longitudinal valley of the Tian Shan, and enters the Fergana Valley to join the Sir Daya. The major lakes of the area include Lake Balkas or Dengiz and Lake Ayla Kul, which was connected with Balkash in the post-Pliocene period but now stands some hundred feet higher, connected by a chain of smaller lakes with Sisak Kul, Lake Isak Kul, and the alpine lakes of Sun Kul and Chatir Kul. Topic: Population. The population was estimated in 1906 as 1,080,700. Kazakhs formed 76% of the population, Russians 14%, Taranchi 5.7%. Topic history and administration History of the Central Steppe has an outline history with links to the many peoples who lived in this area. In the Vi 3 VV. BC, E, the Iranian Sakas established the first state, whose center was in Jetisu. In the mid 6th century, the Turkic nomads subordinated Jetisu, Semireki, Central Kazakhstan, and Khorezm. The area belonged to Zingar Khanate in the 17th century. When Zingar Khanate was eliminated by King China in 1755 the area formed part of empire and was under the direct rule by General of Ili Chinese, Yili Jiangjun headquartered at the fort of Hiyuan, the so-called Manchu Kulja, or Yili, 30 km west of Gulia Yining. Most of Zhetisu was annexed by the Russian Empire from King China in 1854. Before the outbreak of the Crimean War, which delayed the southern advance. The two major Russian fortresses and garrisons in the region, Verny and Pishpek, were founded in 1854 on the sites of former Kakandian fortresses on the steppe frontier. The Semirechai Cossack host was created in 1867 as a branch of the Siberian Cossack host. 
From 1867 to 1884 this province was made part of Russian Turkestan, and from then until 1899 it was incorporated in the Governor Generalship of the Steppes before reverting to Russian Turkestan that year. The province was divided into six districts, the chief towns of which were Verny, the capital, Jarkent, Kopal, Pishpek, Shavalske, and Sergiopol. Before the Russian Revolution, the chief occupation of the Russians, the Taranchais and the Jungas, and partly also of the Kazakhs of the region, was agriculture. The most important crops were wheat, barley, oats, millet, rice, and potatoes. A variety of oil-bearing plants and green fodder, as also cotton, hemp, flax and poppies, were grown. Livestock breeding was very extensively carried on by the Kazakhs, namely, horses, cattle, sheep, camels, goats and pigs. Orchards and fruit gardens were well developed, and the Russian imperial crown maintained two model gardens. Beekeeping was widely spread. The factories consisted of flour mills, distilleries, tanneries and tobacco works, but a great many domestic trades, including carpet weaving and the making of felt goods, saddlery and iron goods, were carried on, among both the settled inhabitants and the nomadic Kazakhs. There was also trade with China, valued at less than half a million sterling annually in 1911. From 1905, after the Russian-Japanese War and the construction of the Trans-Aral Railway, the settlement of Russian people in the area increased greatly under the guidance of the new migration department in St. Petersburg. The province was administered by Vasily Balabanov under General Alexander Dutov until the Bolshevik takeover in 1921, when both Dutov and Balabanov escaped to China. After the Central Asian Revolt of 1916 and the Russian Revolution of 1917 the provisional government's authority in the region collapsed. Approximately 2,500 Russian settlers are thought to have been killed by the Kazakhs in the violence that followed in Zhetisu, and this was followed by equally bloody reprisals against the nomadic population, led by the all Russian workers and soldiers Soviets in Tashkent and Verny. Bolshevik control was reimposed in 1918–21 in a series of campaigns led by Mikhail Frunze, after whom the town of Pishpek in Zhetisu was renamed. In 1924, Zhetisu was incorporated in the southern portion of the new Kazakh ASSR by the new Soviet Union, and, in 1931, this was made a full Soviet republic and nominally independent of Russia. In 1936 the Kyrgyz ASSR, which incorporated the southern portion of Zhetisu, also became a Soviet republic. In late 1991, both republics declared their independence from the Soviet Union, forming the new nations of Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan respectively. <laughs> Derived names. The Semirechensk pig and the Semirechensk salamander are named after the region. <laughs> 